In today's video, we are diving into the world of Amazon designer inspired bags. And I'm going to be sharing a bunch of popular bags where there are dupes on Amazon for them. So you can save your coins if you so wish to do so. If that's your type of content, be sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss any of my videos such as this one. And without further ado, let's get started. a bunch of different brands on here. Most of them you'll be familiar with, if not all of them. The first brand we're going to start is with Loewe. And the one I found is the Loewe Small Puzzle Bag. So as we know, the Loewe Small Puzzle Bag is beautiful. It's a classic. Okay. However, it does retail for a hefty 3250 bucks. But not to worry, we found a version on Amazon that's quite similar. And this one retails for $78. By the way, I'll have links to all of these in the description bar, the higher end versions and also the Amazon versions. So you can check them out at your early convenience if you're interested. This one, as I mentioned, retails for $78. It's quite similar, actually. It has the puzzle style. I'm sure the dimensions are off. I'm actually going to take a look and compare. don't want to just share a bunch of dupes, you know, and don't share the comparisons, the actual comparisons to them. But as you see, this one comes in four colors. It comes in khaki, it comes in black, it comes in brown, and it comes in white. My personal favorite actually is the white one, and it does have that back zipper, wide shoulder straps. I mean, it has feet on the bottom. It looks quite similar. So what I'm going to do now is pull up the actual Loewe version. This is the Loewe small puzzle bag, the actual bag on the SAC site. This is the gray color. I think the gray is stunning. Obviously they're similar, okay? But I want to look specifically at the measurements. Okay, so the measurements for the Loewe one are 5.7 height by 10 inches width and 5.5 diameter. Compared to the Amazon version, 9.6 by 4.1 by 6.7. So as you see, the measurements vary just a little bit actually because the 10 is similar to the 9.6. The 5.75 is similar to the 6.7 and then the 4.1, the 5.5. Obviously, because I'm calling them dupes, if they can't have the exact same measurements, then that would be a replica. There's a difference between dupe and replica. Replica, they didn't even try to make it seem like they're not trying to copy exactly off of them. Yes, they have found inspiration from them with this bag, but it's not an exact copy. It doesn't say Loewe on it. It doesn't have the same dimensions, the same exact characteristics. It's a dupe. Okay, it's a dupe. Also, with the Amazon version, let's see if it's real leather. It's PU leather, so it's not real leather. There's another difference in that one. So nonetheless, it's still a great alternative. I mean, it looks good to me. If you really want a Loewe puzzle bag, you don't want to pay $3,000. Sis, $78, all right. Next on my list, we have the Bottega Veneta Mini Cassette Bucket Bag. That one retails for $1,300. Or if you want to go to Amazon, it's $28, okay? $28. Let's take a look at that one. So as you see, this one comes in a variety of colors, just like Bottega does. It comes in this white, which honestly looks more off-white to me. It comes in this yellow. It comes in black. It comes in in this gorgeous khaki. It comes in this green and it comes in this pink. So because your girl likes green, we're gonna scroll through that one and look at the characteristics. So this one also is PU leather. So it has a drawstring, okay? The entire thing is in Trecciato leather inspired and that's what it looks like. And it's good to me. We're gonna keep it on the measurement page because I wanna compare it to the real one. So we're looking at this one on Bottega Veneta's site. So as you see, it looks very similar, right? So as far as the dimensions for this one, if it's a credit card case, AirPod, I'm not asking for that, I'm asking for the size. Here we go. For the Bottega Veneta one, it's 5.5 inches height by 3.5 inches width by 3.5 3.5 inches depth. If we go back to the Amazon version, it is seven inches by 4.7 by 4.7. So slightly, it's actually a little bigger than the Bottega version. For $28, it looks pretty close to me if you put them side by side. I think they look pretty good. Even though it's PU leather, I mean, if you feel like this is a trend, let me think about it. Just like with trendy fashion, people tend to go to the fast fashion places. I know it's not highly recommended like Zara and places like that. But if you just want to take part in the trend without spending thousands of dollars, hundreds of dollars, why not go for the dupe? not planning on holding it for years, you know? I mean, I'm not trying to take people away from Bottega. I love Bottega. But I'm just saying, if you want to save some coin, Amazon, okay? Link it below. Next, also from Bottega Veneta, the Andiamo. This is a popular one, okay? So they have different sizes in this range and different prices. So for example, the larger one is 5100 okay? But we have a $49 Amazon. So let's take a look at that. So this one comes in different colors as well, as you can see. And that's what it looks like. It has the same little mechanism. I don't know what you call it. The knot, maybe? On the front, it has a double shoulder strap. has a longer, a double top handle has a longer shoulder crossbody strap and it has the measurements of course which we're gonna go and take a look at smooth hardware zipper and this is also PU leather it's not real leather okay although I haven't really looked they might have more I just wanted to share this you know share these as options you can fit so many different things in there as you see and let's compare it with the real I'm gonna look at the medium one because I think the size mostly compares to that one if it doesn't we'll go to the small one okay so this is the Bottega one clear difference in quality okay let's be real actually I think this is big is this the large one okay so actually 
actually the original one that this one is inspired by retails for eight thousand dollars because this size more that's why i like looking at the sizes because you need to see which one it, it mostly resembles so the bottega version 13.8 inches height 16.5 inches width and 7.1 inches depth and if you look at the amazon version 22 inches by 19 inches by 9.4 inches so still the amazon one is bigger than this one so keep that in mind it's going to be bigger than the large version but again guys 49 dollars compared to 8,000, and it comes in pretty colors as well i'm not sure how the colors compare of course that's hard to see behind a computer screen but you're going for the look you know spend that amazon okay by the way if you're new to my channel i'm candace your go-to source for colorful edgy feminine fashion and spawn all things luxury and designer bags that's your jam be sure to subscribe i post every monday and thursday sometimes saturdays as well and just like and subscribe so you don't miss out okay so next also from bottega vanilla we have the sardine this is the last one from them okay and then i'm gonna move on to a different brand because i want to share different options for you okay so the sardine is also quite popular and they have different sizes for the sardine okay they have a small they have a medium i'm not sure which one they're going by yet we're gonna look at the amazon version first but as you see they're basically in the four to five grand range okay those three options so the amazon version is 70 bucks a little bit more pricier than the andiamo but i'm sure it's because of the little hardware at the top let's see what's going on so this one i'm sure it's also pu leather but look at the detail it fits a phone okay i'm glad they put the phone there so it tells you that it fits that so this is what it looks like those are your dimensions it comes in different colors i think it's cute it's a moment okay so let's look at the dimensions to see which one i'm gonna guess okay it says m so i'm assuming the medium so let's take a look at the medium version from Bottega. let's see let me take a look at the starting medium it says m but it's not it's, it's smaller than this let's look at the smaller version okay yeah i think it more closely rem uh, represents the small size and the small of the Bottega version 7.9 inches height 13 inches width and 1.6 inches depth compared to the Amazon version 7 inches tall 11.4 inches wide and then uh, 0.8 inches a little diameter yeah it's more close closely resembles the small version however the Amazon version is slightly smaller slightly smaller okay that is the one that it more closely represents so ignore this M that they have at the top here it is not close to the medium at all it's more closely to the small that's why it's important to look at the dimensions to make sure but still, 69 bucks. Come on. Next, we have Gucci. A Gucci mini jacket bag. Again, different sizes, different patterns, different fabrics, different embellishments, like chains and all of that. But for the most part, let's say 2400 okay? And that's the mini size. We're going to see if it closely resembles that one, but we're going to go off that one for now. So let's click that one. Compare it to the Amazon version for $20. Okay, so this is mini size too. So this is what that one looks like. Oh, it has an interior little zipper pocket. Does the regular jacket have that? That's a decent size. And of course, this is also PU leather, I'm sure, especially for $19 come on in. all right let's look at the dimensions i'm curious to see if that's you know close to the mini size i can look she wears it on her shoulder okay so it doesn't look like the mini size because that one looks small let's go to a slightly bigger size because that one's a little too small let's go to the next size up okay let's go to the small shoulder bag that one's 3200 i'm just trying to get as close as i can to the, the size so we know 10.8 by 7.5 by 1.6 okay yeah this is more close to the small one even though it's called mini on amazon don't go by that it's close to the small the gucci version is 10.8 width by 7.5 height by 1.6 diameter in the amazon version 10.2 inches by 8.3 height by 2.4 diameter so pretty similar in size similar aspects similar qualities let me look and see if that zippered compartment is in the gucci version like it is the amazon version oh see they don't have it they have a little zippered pocket but that's not the same thing with the amazon version they have this zipper you see that they have that so that's another different aspect of this one it has that pocket which i think is quite nice so i mean i don't have to tell you just 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 do you okay i'm just sharing the information just do you so next we have the gucci bamboo this is the last gucci one okay gucci bamboo 1947 bag they retail us for 17.50 but on amazon it is 38 dollars. so let's look at that one to see what size that one resembles okay so this is the amazon version it has the bamboo handle i'm not sure if it's real but it's bamboo shaped okay you get the gist of it it has the twist a turn lock with the bamboo as well and it's like a hobo style high capacity bag it holds a phone holds airpods you can see what it fits in there comes in three colors it's structured and it's quite cute i mean the green is beautiful and stunning okay here's the dimensions so let's go to the gucci version i'm gonna just start with the mini size 3700 because that seems to be more like the size of the you know not the super mini but we're gonna see okay we're gonna see so you can already tell the difference in the bamboo it's darker on the gucci version which you can't expect it to be the exact same it is a dupe okay as i always have mentioned in this video but details that's what we're looking for so for the gucci one 6.7 width by 4. 
1.7 height by three inches diameter. Let's look at the Amazon version. So the Amazon version is 11.5 inches. Okay, so we're gonna look for a different size because this one might be a little too small. I don't know if they have a bigger one though. Gucci Bamboo 1947 bag. Let's just try that. Let's do small and see if they have a smaller version because that one looks kind of... Okay, so it actually doesn't look like they have a current version that's bigger. It looks like they only have the mini and the super mini. Let me go to the 1947 collection like this and see. I'm missing something. Okay, they do have a small. Why did they lie to me? The small retails for 4,500. Let's look at the dimensions for that one. This is the small version. I'm sure this one is more special because it's patent leather, but we're just looking at the dimensions. I want to show you or see whether the small size is more similar. Okay, so the small size is 8.3 inches width by 6 inches height by 2.75 diameter compared to the... This is closer, but it's still bigger. The Amazon version is bigger. So just keep that in mind. It's not close to the mini size at all. It is bigger. But the Amazon version is 39 bucks. So, I mean, if you're going for the look, I don't even get to tell you. Next from Hermes. So we have the Mini Kelly and the price varies for this based on the leather you choose, based on the hardware, based on if you get an exotic, the size, so many different options, okay? But Amazon version is 52 bucks. This one is based on the Mini Kelly. That's a popular one at the moment. Many people want the big bags, but they still like the Mini Kelly. It's still hard to get, but not on Amazon. Not on Amazon. I'm just saying. Let's look at that one. So this is the Mini Kelly on here. Very similar look, structured, and they did centimeters for this, which I don't like. It comes in different colors all right brown is quite nice actually look at this one brown one is quite nice look at that one so i'm gonna look at this really expensive one ignore the price although if you buy them in the second hand market that's bought it's probably how much you're gonna pay but i mainly want to look at the dimensions okay so i'm not sure what the conversion is but just to let you know the hermes version is 4.75 inches by 2 inches by 7.25 inches which i'm assuming is quite similar to this version because it looks like a mini kelly to me and it has the longer crossbody strap as well that's the difference between the kelly and the birkin the birkin doesn't have a longer strap but quite similar and it's only 59 bucks and let's see i don't think it's leather but let's look oh it is leather i think that's a good deal i might actually get one of these myself next the hermes birkin speaking of also varies in price okay but on amazon it's 66 dollars you know this one is my least favorite honestly because it's so clear that this is not a birkin <laughs> the mini kelly i just shared with you is totally different and this, this does not look like a birkin all right you could clearly tell it's fake and also this one has a longer strap but this is the closest one i could find on amazon there are possible others you dig really deep but i dug deep and that's why it has 3.8 stars it gives you sort of the look but personally i will remove the strap because with the strap it's a dead giveaway that is not real because no burgers have straps but that's what it looks like it comes in different colors if you just want the look you want to remove the strap and all of that that's what that one looks like and this one has like a pebbled leather finish so keep that in mind too and it's kind of not too slouchy it's like a cross between slouchy and structured so the dimensions for this one is 12.2 by 5.9 by 9.8 let me actually look okay so 12 12.2 converts. I want to see what the centimeters convert to. 12.2 inches to centimeters. Okay, so it's more like a Birkin 30. That's the size. The size of the Amazon version is more like the Birkin 30. Just to give you a heads up. 12.2, 30. Next from Hermes, also the last one for Hermes, the Hermes Eagleton. And the version on Amazon is $68. So this one looks very close. It comes in different colors as well. I love this pink. It's beautiful. This is also pebbled leather finish. And this is also genuine leather. So for that price, you're getting genuine leather. I don't know that I like the pebbled leather i would prefer much more of a smooth leather but for the price you're paying i mean come on you can't be too picky but this is what it looks like very similar to the real thing if i might say so myself this one has a lock it has double handles it has the structure the actual measurements 7.7 .7 height by 7.5 width by 10.6 so those are your measurements for that one that's the interior gold hardware i quite like this one i don't really like the picoton for me but it's starting to kind of grow on me i'm kind of understanding why people like it so much i don't know i think it's cute i think it's adorable and i don't necessarily agree with the price that the Hermes version is, but Amazon, I mean, hey, I agree with that. <laughs> Next, we have the Chanel 22, which retails for $53.50. Possibly more than that now. I cannot keep up with the price increases. All right, I'm not gonna even try. The Amazon version is $89. We can count on that at least. It's a clear dupe, okay? There's no Chanel on there, nothing, but it does look like the Chanel 22, okay? It also has a smaller pouch. Correct me, I don't think the Chanel one comes with the pouch. I could be wrong on that. You know, let me know if I am. But this is what that one looks like. 12.5 inches by three inches by 14 inches. And it fits an iPad mini. What size is this? This gotta be a large version. No way it's the small one fitting all of this in there. But this one comes in four colors, 89 bucks. Let's see which one this close are resembles. I'm gonna look at the medium. I just wanna see something. 14 by 15 by three. This is close to the medium Chanel 22 because the 
Chanel Medium 22 version. The size is 14 inches by 15 inches by three inches. And this is what that one looks like. This is on the Luxury Promise site. I don't think it comes with a pouch. I'm almost positive it doesn't. I'm just gonna read the description real fast. I don't think it comes with a pouch. There's no way they're gonna give you anything. Dust bag, pouch. It does come with a pouch. What? Chanel actually gives you something? I don't believe that. I think it's a scam. It more closely resembles the medium size, but still, if you want the look and you don't want to spend all of these euros and pounds and dollars, go for the Amazon version. It's linked below as well as all of the others that I featured. So let me know what was your favorite dupe from the video. My personal favorite still is the Mini Kelly. It blows my mind that they're giving you real leather for the same look. It just doesn't say, say Hermes, which I don't really care. Also, I want to share one more real fast. So this is my Mini Jody dupe that I got some time ago, and it was it's so close to the real thing. I mean, I believe this is P leather as well, but you get the idea. Intrachado and Trachiato leather. Quite similar to the Mini Jody. It's bigger. I don't really like the flatness of it. I wish it was more curved, but that's totally fine for the price. I believe this was like 40 bucks. If I find this, I'll link it down below too. But Amazon has some great dupes. If you have a problem with dupes, I don't know what to tell you. They're not going anywhere. Okay, with these exorbitant luxury prices, people are looking to get more bang for that buck where they can. And I'm speaking for them because I am too. With certain things like all of my Mini Jodies at this point are dupes. And I have no issue with that because I'm getting a look. I'm getting the trendiness of it. There are other popular Bottega bags out there like the Andiamo, like the Sardine. And this is still a classic to me in my opinion, but if I could save some money, I mean, I wanna help you guys do that too because I know some of you or a lot of you want to as well. So why not share it? But let me know which ones are you guys' favorites. Like I mentioned, my personal favorites are the Mini Kelly. I also love the Loewe Bay Small Puzzle Bag. That one was great. It was great, okay? The white one, Chef's Kiss. I love it. And if you're strictly interested in designer handbags and not necessarily dupes, I did post a video about designer handbags that hold the highest resale value in 2024. Are you curious to know which ones? I have a video right here that you can check out. Also, don't forget to check the information box. I have links to all of these bags that I featured, the real ones, and also the dupes. Thank you. Then talk soon.